Hello, my name is John Fenley of Team Future Nawa, and this is my DARPA Grand Challenge vehicle, Ipso Facto. A person sitting in the driver's seat is required to operate the brake for safety purposes. Inside, I've got a computer. As you can see, the steering wheel does nothing. I cut the steering column. And you can maybe see it rotating in there. It doesn't hook to anything. The motor is in the way. This is my steering motor controller. It hooks into the radio receiver or the cable from the computer. To switch from, from radio control to computer control is that simple. And down here is a potentiometer hooked to the power steering arm, control arm, so I get a pretty direct view of the position of the wheels. This is where all the wiring is done. Uh, I have a joystick cable here that carries the, the signal from the potentiometer. Printer port here that uh, carries pulse width, signal, pulse width modulation signals to the motor controllers and servos. And power from the motherboard to run the servos. It all goes to this Ethernet port, and to attach the computer to the vehicle, all I have to do is plug in the Ethernet cable. My goal for the vision system is to tap into the absolute certainty that people and animals have about their environment. They know that there's an object here, and they know that there's no object here. When the GPS is in simulate mode, you can tell that the tires are working when I run the program. in control of the steering, it thinks it's moving. In an autonomous run earlier today, the vehicle went from that end of the driveway down around this corner, hit that trash can, and almost hit that convertible. I have control over what gear it's in and the brake, and that's it. I can also start and stop the program. When the brakes go off, I'll be driving autonomously. When the brakes go back on, I, I activated the brakes. I took the GPS out of simulate mode. As you can see, I've got a vehicle, I've got a place to test it, and I am testing it. <laughs>